If you've been paying attention to the AI space, you've probably heard about Grok 3, Elon Musk's latest AI project. But what exactly is Grok 3? How does it compare to ChatGPT, Google Gemini, or Claude? And most importantly, why should you care? Today, we're breaking it all down in simple terms. So, by the end of this video, you'll know what Grok 3 is and how it works, how it compares to ChatGPT, why Musk created it in the first place, and finally, what this means for the future of AI. But before we get started, my name is Helen and welcome to the AI Answer. All right, let's jump right in. So, what is Grok 3? First, let's break it down as simply as possible. Grok 3 is an AI chatbot developed by XAI, Elon Musk's AI company. It's designed to compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and other advanced AI models. But why is it called Grok? Well, the word Grok comes from a sci-fi novel and means to deeply understand something. And that's exactly what this AI is designed to do. Understand and process human conversations in a smart and engaging way. Now, here's the interesting part. Grok 3 is different from most AI models because it has real-time internet access. Unlike ChatGPT's free version, which is only trained on past data, Grok 3 is connected to X, formerly Twitter, meaning it can pull in real-time news, trends, and updates. So if you ask it, what's happening in tech today, it can actually give you fresh answers, something ChatGPT struggles with unless you're on the paid version. Now, this is where things get interesting. Why did Musk create Grok 3 when ChatGPT already exists? To answer that, we need to go back a little. Elon Musk was actually one of the co-founders of OpenAI, the company that made ChatGPT, but in 2018, he left the company after disagreements over its direction. Since then, Musk has criticized OpenAI for becoming too corporate, too politically biased, and too controlled by big tech. In his words, AI should be more open, less restricted, and more fun, which is why he started XAI and developed Grok. His vision? An AI that's more independent, less censored, and more engaging to talk to. And that leads us to the key differences between Grok 3 and ChatGPT. All right, so let's compare Grok 3 versus ChatGPT and see which one is better. 1. Real-time internet access. Grok 3 is connected to X, meaning it can pull in live news, trends, and events. ChatGPT is stuck with pre-2023 knowledge unless you pay for GPT-4 Turbo. 2. Personality and humor. Grok 3 was designed to be more fun, sarcastic, and witty. Kind of like Musk's tweets. ChatGPT is more neutral, professional, and polished. 3. Bias and censorship. Musk claims Grok 3 is less politically biased than ChatGPT. OpenAI has been criticized for content restrictions and filtering. 4. Availability and access. ChatGPT is available to everyone for free, with a premium upgrade. Grok 3 is only available to X Premium Plus subscribers, at least for now. So which one is better? Well, that depends on what you need. If you want up-to-date news, sarcasm, and an AI with personality, Grok 3 is worth trying. But if you need a professional, detailed AI for work or research, ChatGPT is still the go-to. The competition between Musk's XAI, OpenAI, and Google is heating up. Right now, OpenAI is still the leader in AI, but Musk is moving fast to catch up. XAI is already developing future versions of Grok. Tesla is working on AI for self-driving cars. Neuralink, Musk's brain chip company, is also exploring AI. This means AI development is only going to get faster and more competitive. The real question is, will Grok 3 be able to catch up to ChatGPT and Google's Gemini? Grok 3's new features. One of the standout upgrades in Grok 3 is its ability to provide deep, accurate research and analysis. Deep Search. Grok 3's advanced research tool scans the internet and summarizes information into detailed reports. Unlike Google, it doesn't just give you links, it processes and organizes the data for you. Big Brain Mode. This setting tells Grok 3 to spend extra time thinking, resulting in more detailed and thoughtful answers, especially useful for complex science or coding questions. Voice Mode. Coming soon. Elon Musk confirmed that voice interaction will be added soon, similar to ChatGPT's voice capabilities. 
One of the most fascinating demonstrations of Grok 3 showed it mapping a space mission from Earth to Mars, a clear nod to Musk's SpaceX ambitions, coding an AI-generated game, and solving complex science and math problems in real time. But while Grok 3 is gaining traction, XAI is also entering serious competition with OpenAI, Google, and DeepSeek. Now, let's talk about the big question. Could Grok 3 replace ChatGPT? Realistically, not yet. ChatGPT still has a huge head start, more integrations, and a larger user base. But Musk has one big advantage. If he fully integrates Grok 3 into X, millions of people will start using it daily without even realizing it. Imagine scrolling through your X feed and having an AI chatbot built into the platform, helping you analyze tweets, summarize news, or even respond to messages. That could be a game changer. So should you try Grok 3 or stick with ChatGPT? Try Grok 3 if you want real-time news updates in your AI chat, if you like sarcastic and witty AI responses, or if you use X a lot. Stick with ChatGPT if you need deep research or coding help. If you prefer a more neutral and professional AI, or if you want a well-tested, widely used AI model, if you're already an X Premium Plus subscriber, Grok 3 is worth testing. But if you're not, ChatGPT is still the best free AI option right now. So, what's next for Grok 3 and AI in general? We're seeing AI develop faster than ever, and with Musk pushing XAI forward, we could see more advanced versions of Grok, better AI-powered automation, AI integrated into Tesla, SpaceX, and even Neuralink. This is just the beginning of the AI race, and competition is great for us because it pushes AI to become even better. But what do you think? Will Grok 3 become the next big AI, or is ChatGPT still king? Drop your thoughts in the comments! And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more AI content!